Hey, it's French student here, and today we're going to continue working with JavaFX 3D. Uh, we're first going to add some color to our sphere, and we're then going to add some lighting. So, last time we created a sphere, which is just a gray sphere, which can move closer or further away from the screen. So, first, let's just add some color. So, if we want to add some color, we first need to create a material, and then we can add this material to our sphere object. So, first we create as a bong material object. We then set a color to this object. In this case, we're just going to set in a color. Otherwise, you can do some kind of different materials or overlays. But today, we're just going to do a simple color. So set diffuse color, then color that value off, and a code for the color. And we're then just very simply going to set the material of our sphere to this material object. And we now get this purple sphere. But right now, the shadows are a bit confusing because they're all always the same and we kind of have the lighting coming from the camera. And none of the lighting change when we move it back or forward. So firstly, we need to talk, there's two kinds of lights. So when we want to add a light, I'll go to our group dot get children dot add. And we either have a point light or ambient light. So first, let's showcase an ambient light. So an ambient light is a light source where everything is completely lit up. So as you can see now, we've removed all the shadows, more or less. And it looks a bit confusing, but you might have created some kind of objects that already have the shadows built in, or if you're using some kind of game, you actually don't want to use the JavaFX built-in shadows. This is a way of just completely lighting up everything. But I actually really like the point light, which allow us to have a light, a ball of light, kinda, in a specific position. So let's just firstly demonstrate. So now we create a new point light, and this point light is going to be positioned at 0 .0 0 0.0.0, so in the corner of the screen right now. And as you can see now, we have one side of our sphere lit up and everything else is in black. And now when I move it black and forward, you can see how the light source is not moving, but it's up here somewhere. And you can see how the ball is kind of moving back and forward. And how it's interaction with the light. So I made a little setup, let's remove this, where we have Two light sources. So in this case, I just go group get children that at all. Then I have a lights method, which create two point lights, and position one point light just in the corner like we just did at 0 0.0.0. And we're then gonna have another point light move to the other corner of the screen at 1,000 because that's the width of our screen, and 0, 0. So 1,000 at the x-axis. 0 at the y and 0 at the c x. And now we have something that looks a bit more interesting. Where when we move it closer to us, we can see the light is coming on the other side of the ball. Or when we move it further away, we can see how the light is interacting. So this can definitely seem a bit confusing at first, but I would just highly recommend anyone that thinks this is kind of interesting to actually play around with yourself by creating an ambient light and try creating some point lines and move them around and see how the light is interacting with the different objects. But as usual, the source code will be down in the description. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe and I wish you all a wonderful day.